Hi there, it's Denise from Balance Me Coaching, and I love bringing different practices and techniques to help you reduce your stress. And today I have Sart Jean Gilles with me. He's a personal trainer. Hi there, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good. So, can you explain to us exactly what you do? I'm Sart Jean Gilles. I'm a personal trainer and kinesiologist with Fitness on the Go. I deliver Zoom-based personal training sessions to individuals who are looking to get in better shape and also for their rehab programs at home. Wonderful. So I find a lot of times when you're dealing with stress or overwhelm, exercise falls off the ladder. And Uh a lot of times that is because you feel when you're overwhelmed or stressed that you don't have the time and you have this time issue. But how does exercise and taking the time to do the exercise help reduce our stress in our world? Well, exercise definitely is something that helps reduce your stress, uh, not only in the mental sense, because it helps to um, just take your mind off things for for a bit of time. It helps you to build confidence, too. So it's it's just another part of the day where you can build some confidence uh, and and see progress in an aspect of your life, be it uh, uh, physical fitness but also the physiological uh, effects of exercise are very beneficial uh, for us. So um, there's definitely a lot of physiological markers uh, that you can um, notice in somebody if they're exercising regularly. So their blood pressure goes down, their resting heart rate will go down. You know, it's easier for them to, um, after they exercise, um, to then go back into the state of the resting state of homeostasis after a workout. So you recover quicker after you, you exercise regularly. So yeah, it's, there's definitely mental and then physical uh, benefits to, to exercising in terms of relieving stress. Wonderful. Now, a lot of times when I'm dealing with clients, the biggest thing is I don't have the time. So how do you make people's lives easier being a personal trainer online? Like what kind of programs can you start with someone that is a little rushed for time, but needs to do something with themselves? Well, Basically, we, you know, I have, for me, it's having people come, you can come at, you know, once, twice, three times a week with me, if you only have once per week, that's fine. And I have a lot of clients right now who have that exact issue with them. And what I've been telling them the past couple weeks is to break up their workout, you're still going to get the same amount of work. um, And you can actually get do a little bit more technically a little bit more of an intense workout. So if you, let's say I give you a, a workout and you're going to be doing three sets, three sets, three rounds of, of like eight or so work movements, um, you can break that up into three days and you can do that or you can do that uh, if you're busy, you can split it within the day or whatnot. So there's different ways that you can get it in within a certain period of time, like let's say seven days, if I wanted you to do two workouts, you know, and that would be times two is three times two is six. So let's say six different rounds of these sets of workouts. Well, you can split that out within six days and then you can see me again for your workout, your regular workout with me. And so that's what I've been telling people is just to, they can split up their workouts. And how do you personalize personalize their programs? Oh, well, I have a a database where I have a a whole repository of, of, of movements uh, from my kinesiology um, profession that I can tap into. And, um, but first of first and foremost, what I do is I have an assessment. So I start from baseline in terms of what I assume somebody, the average person might be able to do. And then I, you know, I, when I do the free assessment with these individuals, I will progress them and regress them according to their level of physical activity. Then I, you know, I go to my, my database of visual, um, examples of what they should be doing. And then I would have a, a whole work out for them in pdf format for them to to do as homework so yeah it just depends on their their physical activity levels and that's why the first assessment is very important so that we can we can figure out where they are and then where they need to go okay and now when you are reducing stress are there other tips or techniques or practices that you can recommend to lower our stress in our lives Mm -hmm. well i i definitely recommend people to block out the blue light on their, t- on their screens. Um, try and manage to have less than three hours of leisurely screen time. Um, try to uh, go to, uh, try to turn off their screens about three, two to three hours before bed. And I know that's difficult for people. Um, and also keep a sleep, uh, 
sleep diary, manage, uh, monitor your sleep. Uh, and also don't forget walking. Walking is the best form of exercise that we have with, we are built to walk a lot and, and we're built to walk a lot outside, getting the sun, getting that, um, the sunlight on your skin, which helps to create vitamin D, which is an important hormone for us, uh, which helps with our steroid hormones, the estrogen and testosterone. That doing that outside will really alleviate with your stress, and also not forgetting your stretching, not forgetting your mobility um, before. Don't don't not just jumping into a workout, but to properly uh, warm up dynamically, do your workout, and then stretch statically. You know, and um, and just don't put pressure on yourself. Don't focus on your appearance. Just look at your performance, because when when we're, your appearance will follow will uh, follow your performance. So. If you um, improve, you will, you know, you'll, you'll have eventually look better and people are definitely concerned about that. So those are some tips in terms of relieving stress and exercise. And I like doing a morning routine. Now, is there something that you can recommend that's very quick and simple to add to our morning routines just to get our bodies moving? In terms of morning routines, I would recommend that you definitely dynamically uh, move the body so uh, some people at times uh, think they should stretch in the morning i think that you should move you should stretch in the morning but dynamically so make sure that you're moving and make sure that you're doing full body um, body weight movements um and, you know and it doesn't have to be too long you can do it doesn't it doesn't have to be long as long as you're getting in a, a squat movement a type of hip hinge, a push, pushing movement, a pulling movement or a back movement and, and some full body movements. Um, it, that Those would be some great tips. And then you can also throw in some postural movements um, that I would be definitely able to, to show individuals in, in their free assessment, some postural movements. And you can also do, the, do that in between. If you, have, if you have a desk job, then you can do it every hour or so to alleviate the stress in your neck and in your upper body that uh, we definitely accumulate over time. Now, if someone was interested in working for you, what would be the next step that they would take? Well, uh, to work with me, uh, all they would have to do is contact me via email, start at fitnessonthego.ca, start at fitnessonthego.ca, that's S-A-R-T-R-E at fitnessonthego.ca. And I would just get them in for a free assessment and a free consultation. So the, the assessment is, a, is the workout and I see where you are at. And then the consultation would be, we sit down, we chat, we see where you've been, we see where you are in terms of your goals and whatever issues that you have. And now do you, I guess you keep in mind that if someone's had injuries or this and that, like injuries, hip injuries, knee injuries. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the assessment. Um, and that's also part of the consultation. And so that would help me to then design uh, a proper workout, be it for me as a personal trainer and a kinesiologist, in terms of designing a type of workout that would be suitable for you. So it's definitely important to know all those types of, of past and current issues that you might have. So it can't really get any easier than this, can it? <laughs> no, it can't. You come get a free assessment from me, get a free workout from me. I leave you with some great homework. And uh, we could take it from there in terms of, of delivering, uh, in terms of me delivering a, a service to you that is so dearly needed, especially right now during COVID. Now, are there any last words you'd like to? I'm just like to wrap this up now. Any last words for our audience? I would say to, to our audience, um, fitness is a, is a lifestyle and not to compare yourself uh, to anyone else, which is another reason why people build stress in terms of fitness. So don't compare yourself. You're only competing with the person that you were the day before. That's all. I love that. Well, thank you so much. And I will be putting all your contact information in the comments. So feel free to contact, email, visit his, he's got a uh, Facebook page as well, LinkedIn page. And yeah, take the step, step forward and get your free consultation. Thank you, Denise. Thank you very much for listening and we'll talk soon. Just a final note, if you're struggling with burnout or chronic stress, I have free resources such as a podcast, Facebook support group, my blog, 
To get these free resources, please visit my website at www.balancelittle-me.ca. Now this is Denise Eckert signing off and contact me if you're looking to create a happier, more balanced lifestyle today.